Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to unroot, unbrick your Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus, or the A50. Um, you may end up in the state while rooting. If you're rooting and you messed up somehow, or you messed up something, you may be in a state where it says, please connect your phone to Samsung Smart Switch. All right, you don't have to use that. This is a much simpler way. You can just use your Odin and flash the firmware. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is obviously put it into uh, Odin download state, or like I said, if you're in the Samsung smart switch state where it says you need to connect it and you're in that state, that's also Odin mode. You're good to go. Just connect it to your computer using USB. Um, for everybody else, you'll have to power off and hold down volume down, big speed, and connect the USB, which I'll show you here. Now, if you can access your phone, um, go ahead and go into settings about phone and notice the model number. I've got an SM-G973F. Make a note of that. If you have an S10 Plus, it's gonna be SM-G975F. Or if you have the US version, uh, SM-G975U. Now, flashing firmware works on all models because this has nothing to do with unlocking the bootloader. So you can always flash firmware. All right, make a note of your model number. Now, if you're in a brick state where it's asking you for Samsung Smart Switch, then you can also go to your box, original box, which should have the model number there. So the actual official model number is SM-G973F slash DS, which means dual SIM, but it's fully compatible with the regular F. All right, if that doesn't help, you can also look at the back of your phone, which should give you uh, the actual model number right there. You guys see it? Yeah, the first one. All right, once you have model number, we're ready to go. If you're in the smart switch state, a uh, brick state, then just go ahead and connect it to your computer via USB cable. If you want to unroot your device or any other reason and your phone's working normally, you'll have to get into the download mode by holding down the volume down and the Bixby together, make sure it's together, and then connect your USB cable and you should come to this warning screen, all right? And go ahead and hit the volume up, all right? And you should be in download mode. Either this or you see the bricked smart switch state. You're good to go. Now you will need a Windows computer uh, because Odin works only with Windows or you could use VMware, which I used to do a long time ago if you have Linux or Mac, but that's out of this guide. But I do just re recommend using Windows computer. It's much easier. Okay guys, if you rooted your phone using my guide or the Magisk method, you probably already downloaded the firmware. But let me go ahead and show you how to uh, download it again. Go to sammobile.com slash firmware and go ahead and enter your model number, which mine is 973F. All right, so Galaxy S10, SMG 973F. Just go ahead and enter your model number. And then go ahead and find the country and carrier firmware for your phone. Now, you can use any other firmware, but it's gonna give you that carriers, that country's bloatware. So be aware of that. If you absolutely need the carrier branded bloatware, you'll want to go with the exact country carrier. For me, I have the Spanish version. I'm not sure which Spanish it is, but I just downloaded the Spanish uh, Vodafone. All right, this one here. All right, go ahead and download it if you haven't. And I have downloaded mine yesterday when I was rooting, obviously. So if you root it, then you already probably downloaded the right firmware. Um, double click and extract all files and you get a folder with uh, all the files you need. All right. Now, um, also you'll need Odin and drivers. If you don't have this yet, I'm going to high on Android, go check Odin and drivers, go ahead and download Odin and also Samsung USB drivers. Now all the download links are down here where it says click here to download and that will allow you to download. All right. Don't click on the ads, click here to download. All right. I've already downloaded, so I've downloaded it twice. All right, once you have the files downloaded, go back to your downloads folder and also go ahead and unzip the Odin 3 extract all. And you get a folder with Odin 3 underscore v3.13.1. I'm going here and run the exe Odin program. This is the actual Odin program. Now, with the Odin program on, make sure you see a blue highlighted box. If you've never rooted your phone, um, you probably don't have this. Then you can go ahead and go to downloads 
and go ahead and run the Samsung USB driver EXE program. Run it after dr driver's installed, unplug your USB, plug it back in, and you should see this box. If you still don't see it, just reboot your phone and try again, and you should see it. Once you see this, you're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and choose BL, and we're gonna go into the folder where you downloaded the firmware. So here, um, this is the extracted, uh, unzipped uh, folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose BL. This is for the bootloader. All right, and also go ahead and choose AP. This is the original firmware, the system partition. This does take a while. It might say not responding for a little bit. Just give it like a minute and you see it worked. Go to CP, choose the CP file. All right, next CSC. Um, you don't have to flash this, but uh, if you don't flash this, you'll have to do a factory reset. If you want to wipe your device completely, choose CSC up here. If you want to keep your data and unroot, um, you can choose that. And it, I don't know, I don't think it will work because with the new root method, um, it actually changes everything. So you may have to wipe everything. But I'll go ahead and try it with this and see if it keeps my data. And that way you don't lose any of your data. So the home is for not losing data. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and let it unroot. And this will unbrick uh, any Galaxy S10, S10, E, S10 Plus. So yesterday when I was actually rooting, um, I got this error where it says I have to use the Samsung, um, the, the restore software and the Samsung switch piece, the switch software. And um, I was like, oh damn. So I was like, nah, I can just use Odin. So I just connected to Odin and it worked just fine. Um, so you don't have to use the Samsung software. I think this method is actually better um, because you're in full control. You don't know, you know what exactly is flashing. So I do recommend this method. Um, you can also upgrade uh, to the new firmware, all right, using this method manually. Um, use the home, like I said, CSE here, if you're not rooted. If you are rooted, then you'll have to, you can still upgrade. The process is basically download the AP of the new firmware and then process it, um, patch it with the Magisk, just like we did in the rooting um, tutorial, and then flash it. Just flash the AP. Usually you don't need the BL or CP. Bootloader doesn't contain any new features. Usually bootloader basically is a bootloader. I've used, um, unless they block it, sometimes Samsung will block older bootloaders, then you'll have to flash the new bootloader. But usually when you flash a new bootloader, it actually, you know, if Samsung comes out with new security blocks for root, then it will just block your phone. And we've seen that with like something like the Galaxy S8, uh, where you didn't have a seven day jail uh, for OEM lock, unlock. And after upgrade to, I think Oreo, um, it started locking. So you could go back to um, Nougat firmware or Nougat bootloader and bypass that. And then Samsung on the recent update, they also blocked that. So if you did not flash the new bootloader, you would have been fine. So usually bootloader, you don't have to flash. Um, CP also, you don't really have to flash. Um, just flashing AP usually works. So these are the little bits and stuff people don't know about. So uh, sometimes it's better to not upgrade because it's not really an upgrade. Samsung will just block stuff. Anyway, um, let's, let's let this finish and uh, we'll have a fully uh, unrooted Galaxy S10. Now, once you unroot using this method, if you already have OEM lock on, it will stay on, which is good. Another good thing about rooting the Galaxy S10 over the older, um, like the S9, um, once you reflash the stock firmware on something like Galaxy S9, you will have to wait seven days to retry, um, um, get the OEM lock working. With this new root method, you don't have to do that. So after unrooting my phone, my OEM lock will still stay on. And um, I just have to go through the process of actually unlocking the bootloader again in the uh, Odin download mode. And I can reroute it like today, I don't have to wait. So that's one of the benefits I kind of like about the new root method. I'm just telling you this, but let's let this finish and we should have a unrooted phone. Hi guys, once it's done, you can see that um, it says cannot load uh, Android system. Um, so this is what happened after rooting and flashing, trying to keep data. So we're gonna do a factory reset, obviously, and say yes. 
All right. And this should um, wipe everything and boot our phone completely normal. Now, my bootloader is still unlocked. All right. Um, so I will still get the warning message here. So, so flashing stock firmware um, doesn't relock your bootloader automatically, which is actually a good thing. So you can reroute it easily. Hi guys, so I've booted here. Let's go ahead and just skip through everything. And let's check uh, what our OEM lock status is for those of you interested in what happens with the root part of it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and just check it. Now you see everything's been wiped. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check what happened to the uh, developer mode status. Status. And wow, so OEM lock disappeared. Oh, I didn't connect Wi-Fi. So make sure to connect Wi-Fi. Okay, um, connected Wi-Fi. Yeah, still no OEM lock. Um, so you may lose it. I'm actually not sure at this point because I actually did this before and it was fine, but now I might have to actually wait seven days. Let me try that again. Oh, there we go. So I just had to connect to the internet and then I just force close everything. And now you can see I could still reroute it easily because my OEM unlocking I still on. Now, let me give you one last tip before I go here. Uh, for example, you didn't get an error like I did when you rebooted, uh, which actually happened to me. And then you might be stuck on the welcome screen like it's loading the application. That can happen to you. So let's imagine your phone is right now um, rebooting and it got stuck, boot loop basically. So if that happens, we can reset the phone using volume down and the power. Hold it down until your phone resets. As soon as it resets, we're gonna get into stock recovery by holding down volume up, big speed, and power. So let's go ahead and try this. So let's say you're in the boot loop, then we're gonna go ahead and um, manually factory reset. So uh, volume down and power. And as soon as it goes off, volume up, big speed, and power. And keep holding that down. All right. And you're in stock. Uh, recovery here. All right, this is very simple to do. Go to wipe data factory reset. Say yes. And this will wipe everything on your phone again. Uh, and then reboot system. And that's pretty much how you can manually reset your phone at any time. Also, there's been some times where I had to do that on phones where I actually need to use a phone, but the phone just, you know, it's in a brick state or boot loop or something. Um, then you can manually reset it wipe everything on your device or maybe um, you're selling your phone or something or you know in the next hour you need to quickly erase everything you can also use this manual method of factory reset all right but i'll just let this boot to just show you that everything's working um, but i'm gonna obviously go ahead and reroute it again one of the benefits with the galaxy s10 root method is that because oem lock is um now it's a separate part where you have to go into download mode and then lock it um now you can easily Reroute your phone after unrooting. And boom shakalaka. As you can see, this is how you can unroot um, your Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus, or A50. As far as relocking the bootloader, I'll have another video on that if you need to absolutely relock it. I haven't actually got to that part yet, but let me make that into another video. Have a great day, and as always, stay on Android. Just subscribe, 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 just subsc